Welcome to Tech Notice, my friends. So in this video, I'd like to talk about these two SSDs, Vulcan G SSDs, and there's two over there. One of them is one terabyte in size and the other one 512 gigabytes in size. Now, what are some of the speed benchmarks? Should you buy them? I know they look cool, but how do they slot into the, some of the competitors and what they're like? Let's talk about it. First of all, I want to mention the design because you can get some SSDs and I know if you put them inside the computer, you know, they don't look nice and you don't, don't actually see them. But over here, we've got something that is very nice black uh, and you've got like this owl or eagle logo over there with Vulcan G on the bottom and that's like a shiny chrome on matte black and they look absolutely fantastic because some of the actual SSD bays or SSDs uh, mounting options inside the case are in front of them and visual so you can see like what your SSD is. If you have a choice to put like a, I don't know, Samsung or Western Digital, like a blue or random text on in the front there or something like that, I personally would choose something like that. But now the question is, are you paying for these looks or are they just good and perform as well? So let's have a look at that. So now the benchmarks. I did the benchmarks for both 500 and one terabyte version. And sometimes the case is that the bigger the SSD is, the, the faster the drive is basically. For example, if you know Apple, the bigger the SSD is inside Apple computers, often the case is that it go also is faster for some reason. Here, the 500 and one thousand gigabyte versions they perform exactly the same okay they're like within few megabytes of each other which is you know one or two percent of it which could be you know error of the test so what are the speeds then the read and write speeds over here are 557 megabytes per second read speed and 521 megabytes per second write speed and that was the one terabyte version the 512 gigabyte version is 555 megabytes per second so two megabytes per second slower and 514 megabytes per second write speed which is seven megabytes per second lower so within one percent or even less than one percent of the speeds now let's look at some of the competition right let's look at samsung 860 evo which is something that everyone knows and you know the speeds for that and there we're gonna have speeds of 560 megabytes per second and 528 megabytes per second write speed as you can see they're literally very very similar if not the same within one percent of each other so these sata ssds which this is actually the maximum you can get from sata so they're performing as well as the competition there samsung and if we have western digital over here as well i'm gonna pull that out the western digital blue 3d nan one terabyte in size is 563 megabytes per second and 534 megabytes per second which is slightly faster but come on we're talking about 10 megabytes per second they perform very similar to whatever the competition is out there now the big question is what about the price then are we paying, you know, more for the locks or are they within the same league? So these SSDs over here cost $96, $95.99 for the one terabyte version and 56.99 terabytes and $56.99 for the 512 gigabyte version. Actually, at this point, I'm looking at it and there's a deal on and it is $9 cheaper, so it's $47.99. So if you wanna check it out, if the deal is still on, check out the links below if you wanna pick out any of these SSDs. So what about the competition then? Let's have a look at Samsung Evo series. And over here, we can see that the one terabyte version is $114 or $115, which is $20 premium. And that is quite a lot of premium for me to pay for something that I'm not getting actually that much more extra speeds. Because in terms of the specs on the paper, they are very much the same. This one over here has the smart technology as well and SLC caching. I don't really see me personally, why should I go with Samsung? I know some people like rely more on the Samsung thing and you know, like get the five year warranty, but Team Group is offering very similar warranties and everything. So it's very hard to justify like, you know, Western Digital or Samsung over it. So the question really comes to which SSD looks can you, do you like more or which SSD uh, is on sale at the moment because then you should go with that because they perform very very similar personally I like this design much more I like the black and I like this over there it just looks fantastic I could have it in front of the case or in the back of the case I don't mind so that's it really if you want to pick up any of these SSDs I'm gonna leave the link in the description and if you haven't seen this PC build why don't you go and check it out because it was great fun a uh, pretty cool design yeah go check it out thanks very much guys for watching hit that like button it actually makes a difference subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you very soon Bye-bye.